Hello, this is Fanny's, and uh, today we're going to model a gold handgun. First of all, uh, open Blender, and uh, I like to go to File and User Preferences, and in the Input tab, I hit Select with Left mouse button then save user settings and exit that window let me just open my screencast keys ok now hit X to delete the default cube and then uh, hit the background images open it up and add image hit open and uh, you can uh, download an image uh, from Google like I did close this tab with N and this tab with T if you want hit 5 to go to orthographic view and one to go in front orthographic view shift A and add the plane rotate it so you can see it uh, by hitting R, X and 90 to rotate it 90 degrees in the X axis and align it with the background image Hit Z to go in the on wireframe mode and tab to go in edit mode. A to deselect all and B box select to select this vertex. Now select with box select both vertices and move them down. By hitting a uh, shift, you can do more gently moves. Select both edges and hit E to extrude and move them up. And uh, move the vertex. Select both edges again and E to extrude, extrude once more. As you see, I'm going with that side and then I'm fixing the other side. E to oops, control Z to go back to undo this action E to extrude ok E to extrude again and move it up It's very simple as you see. I'm just extruding and point pulling. Now I'm gonna go with the right side of the gun because it's more complicated. Holding shift now, what? just keep going until we reach right here.
okay and now we will hit E to extrude and Z to extrude the Z axis move that down and in Okay, now select those vertices and hit E and X to extrude along the X axis. Extrude again, X. Extrude once more. A and X again until we reach the end right here. Okay, now A to deselect everything, Z to go in solid view. As you see, we have just a plane. Now we select everything with A and hit E and Y to extrude along the y-axis and move it right about there ok, now hit Ctrl R to add some loop cuts scroll the mouse wheel and add two loop cuts hit escape and S and Y to scale them in the Y axis ok, hit on to go in the from orthographic mode view, sorry, Z wireframe and C for circle select and middle mouse button to deselect those vertices I hit G and move just like there and now we have some point pulling just select with B so we can select all the vertices from the other side too and move them about in, in the middle because we are gonna do this one more time selecting you have to deselect everything first because if you have selected that those vertices and you box select now you have all of them selected so remember to deselect everything before box select Just move them in the middle. And the last one here. Try to align it with this side there and try to be straight right here ok now 
or alt and click to select both its loops again one for front view z wireframe c for silk select and deselect all these vertices and move to the back of the grip outside a bit okay try to do the same but uh, we won't go in the middle of this this is a separate piece try to be right here We're gonna add two more edge loops. Scroll the mouse wheel, click and hit escape. One again for from orthographic view, Z wireframe, C silk select and deselect those and G to move it out again. And now some more point pulling. Now we're trying to go to the edge of the image, get the outline. Try to keep some workflow on your edges by hitting G twice. You can move in the edge, you can move the vertex, vertex you are selecting in the edge. You can hold shift for smoother moves. Select and now the last one on that side. Okay. Now select Alt and click, Shift Alt and click to select again the same edge loops Z for wireframe C for select, select and middle mouse button to deselect those and pull them out just a bit not much C for and deselect select, select and deselect those vertices. 
try to get that shape here. This is our grid, and now to make things better, we will add a subdivision surface modifier. You can do it by going to this icon and click Add Modifier, and then Subdivision Surface, then increase the views to two. Hit T open this tab and hit smooth you have to be in object mode to do that T again to hide the window tab to go in edit mode and let's, fi let's fix it a bit Control R to add an edge loop and move it to the front add another one to the top Right there. Okay. And now do some point pulling to make it look better. This is our grid. Okay, now you can hit T to open that window and go to set origin and hit origin to geometry. And uh, this is our first part. I hope to see you all in the next part. Thank you very much.